FM, online, on your phone, or just ask your smart speaker to play Radio Wave. It's one o'clock with the very latest. Here's Andy Mitchell. And our top story this lunchtime. After more than three and a half years since the UK voted to leave the EU, Brexit is finally happening. Boris Johnson will deliver a message at Downing Street later where he'll say it's the dawn of a new era. Britain formally departs the bloc at 11 o'clock tonight before entering an 11-month transition period. Blackpool voted emphatically to leave the EU in the 2016 referendum, with South Shore being one of the constituencies with the highest number of people wanting to quit. So this lunchtime we've come to J.D. Weatherspoon's The Velvet Coaster on South Promenade to find out how regulars here feel about Britain's imminent departure. And we'll be chatting with them in just a couple of minutes. First, tourism concerns have been top of the agenda for Stay Blackpool's Claire Smith. Could it mean that people will now make a beeline for the seaside if there's uncertainty about the cost of holidaying abroad? I'm not really sure what the effect will be. I'm hoping it will have a positive effect in that it will encourage the staycation. Um, I'm hoping that more people will travel around and discover the wonderful, wonderful places we have to visit uh, in, uh, in the UK and especially Blackpool. You know, we've got loads of wonderful attractions and, and entertainment out there and we need to shout about it. We need to let people know that we're here and hope that the Brexit effect is that, that we get more visitors to the town. Do you feel that now the decisions being made were out of Europe that will give renewed confidence in a way to the industry in general. Yes, that is a positive that has come out of both um, both the election, the general election and the, the decision on Brexit, is that now we all know where we're going. We know the direction we're heading in and, and uncertainty means that people hang on to their money because they're not sure what they're going to need it for. Um, so, so hopefully it will release a bit of that money. Well, Blackpool South MP Scott Benson doesn't think the town will see a staycation bounce, but he does think the town will still benefit from people who regularly holiday in the UK anyway. I, I don't think it will, to be, to be brutally honest. Um, don't forget the vast, vast, vast majority of people who come to Blackpool are, are from the UK, and so that won't affect people coming to Blackpool. What it will affect is people coming to Britain to work. That doesn't mean they won't be able to come here, um, but it'll just be a bit more sort of complex process for people to apply to get a work permit. Well, away from tourism, local businesses are waiting to see the impact of exiting Europe. Paul Bunny from Choice Furniture imports stock from Germany. There, there is a willingness on our side to buy. There is a willingness on uh, our German suppliers to, to supply us. They are not foreseeing any problems this weekend. We've got trucks that are due to leave Germany on Sunday and they're booked into us on Wednesday. So we don't anticipate any problems this time around. The only concerns that we have going forward will be whether there will be any import duty, whether the uh, reciprocal VAT arrangement that's in place uh, is, uh, it changes. Uh, and of course, it, it really depends on, on how Germany perceives uh, UK as, as, a, as a potential customer. Well, here at the Velvet Coaster, I'm joined by a couple of customers. Brother and sister visiting from Rochdale. We have Shane and we have Jeanette. Shane, first of all, you voted leave. How do you think Blackpool's going to cope after Brexit? Will it be good for the town? Will you be visiting us? Oh, yeah, well, it all depends on um, <clears throat> the economy, doesn't it, really? And um, uh, depending on fair prices overseas and going abroad, it might bring a lot of money into Blackpool, you know, people, fair, fair prices going up, but... Apart from that, yeah, but definitely visited Blackpool, 100%. Blackpool's quite a regular destination for you then, and you're here in the northwest. You're in the the travel to holiday area, really, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, come here regular um, with the wife and the family, and it's always good to visit Blackpool. You know what I mean? And it's been updated quite often. So yeah, definitely come back again. And Jeanette, your sister, welcome to Blackpool. You're enjoying your time at the Viking Hotel. We are. Yeah. Okay. And so, what do you think is going to happen to Britain? post-Brexit? Well, hopefully um, there'll be a lot more jobs, um, crime rate will go down, um, lots of jobs for, more, for all the locals. Um, so plenty of things to look forward to for you? Hopefully, and let Britain be great Britain once again. Jeanette, thank you very much for joining us, and to Shane as well. So that's the situation so far this afternoon from the Velvet Coaster, J.D. Weatherspoon's Velvet Coaster here at South Promenade. As we mentioned at the start of the programme, South Shore was one of the areas in the country that voted most, most, most vociferously to leave the European Union. And from 11 o'clock tonight, they get their wish. 
Radio Wave News at five minutes past one. I'm back at six.